have my friends Noah Olson here to teach you how to do a clean and jerk today. A couple different variations on a clean and jerk. We'll start with the easier version, a power clean and push jerk, where you're gonna start with the barbell lined up right over the middle of your feet. I like to think about setting up from the top down. So we wanna make sure we kinda keep a nice big chest. You're gonna push your hips back and then lower down to grab the bar. Shins should be slightly past vertical. You don't wanna be squatting way down and you don't wanna have your butt too high in the air. So find that happy medium. Bar should be pretty close to your legs. You're gonna start by deadlifting the bar up slowly, nice and controlled. Once the bar gets past your knees, you wanna think about jumping the bar up to your shoulders and getting your elbows through to the other side as quickly as possible. So once again, a little quicker, that's gonna be feet right under my hips, going down, grabbing the bar, coming up nice and controlled, jumping the bar up to my shoulders. You can either hold on to the bar if you have good mobility in your wrists and shoulders, or you can let the bar roll back into your fingertips and create that front rack position where the bar should be resting on your shoulders. From there, you're gonna wanna reset, get your hands in a good position, Take a nice deep breath so you can push that bar overhead. A couple different ways to do that. I said we'd do the push jerk. So from here, I'm going to dip down by bending my knees, keeping my chest nice and vertical. I'm gonna drive up, creating some force through my hips to push the barbell overhead. I wanna make sure that the bar finishes in line with the rest of my body. I don't wanna have the bar too far out in front and we don't wanna have it go way back. After I've Caught the bar, I wanna to try to stand all the way up with it. That is a push jerk. So if you put the two together, that's gonna to be a power clean into a push jerk. That's going to allow you to get a good amount of weight over your head relatively quickly. If you wanna to try to lift more weight, most people will end up doing what we call a full clean or a squat clean. That's gonna allow you to lift heavier because you don't have to get the bar as high. You're gonna accommodate for the heavier barbell not coming so high by getting yourself under it, catching in a squat position, and then standing up and doing the same thing. But instead of a push jerk, we'll go into a split jerk, which again is gonna allow you to lift more weight. Same setup. But now, after I jump that bar up to my shoulders, I'm gonna pull myself into a squat under the bar, stand all the way up, do that quick adjustment. And now, after my dip drive, I'm gonna land with my front foot forward, back knee slightly bent, and then I'll stand those feet together. Those are just the bare minimum basics on a power clean and a push jerk and a squat clean into a split jerk. There's tons more that goes into those lifts. I encourage you guys to do a little bit more research, watch videos that are out there to learn all of the nuances to them, but that should get you started. Good luck. Some clean and jerk recovery tips using the Mark Pro. I typically will get sore up in my shoulders and traps from the big extension and the pressing on a clean and jerk. So I will set up with a pad on the big meaty part of my shoulder and the other one either on my chest or back on kind of the, the bulk of my trap back here. If you end up doing a lot of squat clean and jerks that can obviously tax your quads a little bit more because you're squatting all the way out of the bottom there. So I typically will place one pad right here towards my knee and then I'll kind of flex my leg and find the matching component to that up here put that pad on there and just let that pump and flush my quads.